Let's check your little tail here. Oh, very, a lot looser. Should we get our whole birthing kit ready? tail here oh very a lot looser we're coming up getting there getting there I think she's due anytime between the 11th and the 18th so after when she and I'm pretty sure she's about three or four days away that's when my guess. After she has her babies, are we gonna keep her in that small area on there? Cause that's really what's it, what it's for. Yeah, but for birthing, we're gonna set up a little area back here. So right when I see that she's gonna be giving birth, we're gonna try to put her back there. Hope it's not while we're gone. Hopefully it's not. You having fun, Ethan? Yeah. How's Luna doing today? Good. Mom, can you bring these eggs in? Oh yeah, I can bring those in. So I have to stay out here yeah. and feed the chickens. You have to put them in my shirt though. Go. All right, so are you guys sitting down like this is entertainment? Yeah. We're watching the goat show. This is how this is TV for us. Okay, this is TV for you? Yeah, we're watching the show about goats. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, what I was thinking is we would get the little cage. I think we should set it up right off our back porch here. Okay. Um, because then we can just come and easily check, and if we're in the kitchen, I can check on her. Because, like, you know, once she goes into labor, I'll just need to be looking out the window all the time. Okay. Kind of right... Okay? Okay. Okay, Ethan. We need your oh, muscles. Oh, snap. Look at that. What am I gonna do about these birds? Look! Oh my gosh! We need to set this up higher. We need to put stakes. Yeah. I can hold one of them while you're moving one. Watch out, Tilly. Remember that time that it fell on Dad and yeah, he got I'm stuck? Yeah, the whole thing. All of these at once. They just collapsed. All the goats are just so interested in what we're doing. Isn't it so, they always have to be here helping us. Now they're gonna all walk on top of it. <laughs> <laughs> That's seriously what they do. They like have to, they have to try everything out. This is like a really good way to catch goats. Just start working on a project. Look, you can come through the gate now. A new area. <laughs> Uh-oh, she got locked in. All right, Liddy, let's talk about signs for birth and delivery. I kind of already mentioned them earlier, but basically we're looking at two things. The first is her udder. They say it's supposed to get so tight and filled up that it's almost like shiny, which is a really weird description, but it, it's so, it'd be so tight. I, got, I don't think we have any milk yet. It's just, but it's, she's not quite there yet. And then the next thing is obviously the tail ligament. When I squeeze like this, I'm supposed, I feel like a space that much and it's supposed to be where I can pretty much touch my fingers. They completely, this uh, ligament thins out and then we'll know that she's ready to deliver. But I say we still have a few days. Okay. No, no, no. No, she doesn't need to stay in there. Okay, I think we're ready. Doris, are you ready? So I always, when we
when my goats are ready to deliver, prep this little checklist, this little basket of stuff. So I have an article on my blog and I'll post it here and then as well in the description. But basically it's just a little pregnancy delivery checklist that you need. So here's what I've got. So I've got some old towels, some chucks pads, and then I've also got a stethoscope, some gloves, betadine solution, and some scissors. This is for clipping the umbilical cord and then cleaning it off or disinfecting it. We've got a bottle just in case, we usually don't need that. And then I've got some uh, like kind of like KY jelly stuff, and, and that's for if I need to get in there and and pull a baby out and I need it to be a little more slippery. I've got this for uh, cleaning out nasal passages and finally for our thermometer for taking temperature. And yeah, that's about it. I usually also make sure that I have molasses on hand because I like to give a uh, like molasses water after they deliver because it helps bring their energy up, gives them some B vitamins as well. But that's it. That's what you need when your goat's about to have babies. So stick with us and hopefully in the next few videos here we'll have fun little baby goats. Yay! Oh, you don't want those birds to get. Okay, Operation Save the Einkorn is over. I think that we have successfully kept the birds out. Have this up here. There's no way, it's double layered. I get made while she got up there. Up where? Oh my gosh. There's a goat on the chicken coop. Whoa, look what you did! <laughs> did you get stuck? Well, that's what happens when you climb up there. Come on. You gotta come down on here. She's like, what do I do? Can you lift her? I can't lift her. She likes no. I'll get some leaves to like temp. There she goes. Woo! She did it. <laughs>